Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. I got four new NTH watches for you. I've got the uh, Upholder and the Tadaro that just came out. Date and no date. Um, also a, a nice restock that I will show you. Um, that's about it. We're just gonna get, get right into it. But for my own wrist check, I'm gonna do double duty here. So this is my ISL 79 um, and it's on a brown leather strap. Uh, Ryan put this together for me. I really like it. it looks really nice. Totally changes the look of the watch. And then, here's, here's another commercial in my video commercials. Uh, I'm wearing my little SNK 80... What's the green? 807? No, that's blue. I don't know, 805. Who knows? Uh, incoming soon. The SRPH upgraded, the 29, 31, and 33, the upgraded kind of SNK models with the 4R36 movement. I'll have them in the store soon. I'll definitely do a video on them, so that'll be coming out in the future. Let's check out these uh, new NTH watches I got for you. Before we get on to the main event, uh, I guess I'll just take the opportunity to let you know that the super popular NTH uh, Nacken is back in, uh, in date and no date varieties, as is the Barracuda, um, because I'm a blue fan, I just wanted to show it, but let's, um, let's concentrate on the task at hand, so I've got the four new models here to show you, um, like, uh, like the other NTH watches, it, these are all the same case, just different executions of the dial and then uh, your date, no date variety. And so I'll pick up one no date and one date and we'll go, we'll go over them. I'm going to start with this guy. This is the uh, Tadaro. So what are we looking at? Looking at a very comfy and lovely 40 millimeter case. 11 and a half thick to a slightly domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating 48 millimeters lug tip to lug tip holes for easy strap changes solid screw down case back pretty much bare bones just um, a little bit of branding on the back uh, you have a awesome 20 millimeter bracelet very silky very smooth sized with screws okay solid end link and then a really nice just like the rest of their offerings six position micro adjust clasp milled milled scissor milled everywhere very secure feeling and very and when you lock it down let's um, come out a bit 300 meters of water resistance screw down crown logoed we'll get to the lumen stuff in a bit so this runs on a uh miota 90s5 that if it has a date it's running on the 9015 this is the no date variety so you wind it by turning the crown clockwise you pull out the crown to set the time only one click because there's no date the second hand stops change the time put it back in we are ticking away 20,800 beats per hour, 8 ticks per second, super duper smooth. Weight on the bracelet, 140 grams. Bezel, 120 click unidirectional ratcheting bezel um, with a uh, PVD DLC insert. Really nice squared off hands, squared off seconds hand. Nice yellow accents. I, I don't know, the dial layout, I really dig. Um, it's all, it has three elements, right? The zero, the four, and the eight, but yet retains its uh, symmetricity, its symmetricness. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, this looks really nice. Very interesting, different take on a dial. Uh, let's see, NTH branding on the dial. I guess that's about it. So let's just look really quickly at his date friends. This is running on the same watch, just running on a 9015 coming on the dial. See the dial is smooth and I'm kind of bringing that up because I want to show you the next one is a little bit different. Okay. Oh, price. Uh, all four of them uh, are $700. Not $700 for all four. One of them is $700, but they're all the same price. So let's get into the upholder. Um, so same case, same everything. So everything I already said applies. 
But what I want to go over with you here is that the dial has this really nice texture to it. Almost like this woven texture. It doesn't really show up in the online imagery, so I wanted to kind of make note of it. Nice applied markers. Yellow accents. Again, I love yellow accents. I think they look great. I mean, blue accents probably be better, but I do like the yellow. Nice large screw down crown on all of these. It's very easy to grab, even with gloves. And the, the um, it's definitely worth noting that the thread cutting is silky smooth. So you really, there's no resistance, no grindiness, no grittiness. It really feels very nice. Uh, your minute markings at the fives. Cool looking watch and really cool looking hand. So you can do this one in no date or in date. Again, with the date at the six to retain the symmetric look of the dial and you keep the three and the nine marker. And you just lose the six marker. Looks cool. Let's um let's do some loom. And there you go. Uh BGW9 is obviously in heavy use. Uh very easy to read. The Tadaro in my left hand, the upholder in my right hand. The bezel looks great. The bezel is loomed in the same BGW9. There's nothing to really complain about here. Very nicely balanced, very nicely weighted. I don't know if it's my wrist size, it just works really well with 40 millimeter watches, but it just feels, the NTH watches feel right at home on my wrist. Very, very comfortable. Looks great. So above the bone, below the bone, on the bone. Uh, that's where I am on the strap. I'm a six and three quarter, as I said, so plenty of room to go. Uh, plenty of room to go down and plenty of room to go up if you wanted to. And that's going to wrap it up. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you a few new models from NTH. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions, comments, anything else, you can put it down below, and I'll be sure to address it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.